Brianna, the state is providing $17.5 million in new grants under its Sustain and Serve program, which feeds the hungry while also supporting local restaurants. 30 nonprofits will receive funding under Phase 3 of Sustain and Serve, which was launched during the COVID-19 pandemic. Nonprofits use the grants to purchase meals from local restaurants, many of which have struggled financially. Tara Colton, Executive Vice President for Economic Security at the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, says with this latest round of funding, Sustain and Serve has expanded into a more than $50 million program set to provide a total of 5 million meals to those in need. These community-driven food security initiatives have taken root in cities, in rural areas, in suburban areas, and then in many cases, hunger is really hiding in plain sight. And so we're excited to work with these organizations that know their communities, both the businesses and the people who will ultimately receive the meals and give them the resources they need to have a, have a major impact. New Jersey hospitals will benefit from some of the state's excess revenue this year. And Jay's Spotlight's Lilo Stainton says under the new fiscal budget, 12 hospital systems will share a total of $129 million in additional state and federal funding that's beyond the usual amount of state aid. The funding ranges from, you know, these large sort of infrastructure investment in emergency rooms or satellite emergency rooms to workforce development projects. There's, there's money in there for nurses. Um, there's money for other types of jobs. You can read more about those investments on njspotlightnews.org. Gas prices continue to fall even after strong demand during the July 4th holiday week. As of today, New Jersey gas prices average $4.71 a gallon, down 11 cents compared to a week ago. Shares of Twitter under pressure today after Elon Musk told Twitter's board late last week he wants to cancel his $44 billion deal to buy the social media company, but Twitter vows to take Musk to court to uphold the agreement. Now, here's a check on the closing numbers from Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schapfer, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by the Chamber of Commerce, Southern New Jersey. Working for economic prosperity by uniting business and community leaders for more than 150 years. Membership and event information online at chambersmj.com. And by the New Jersey Economic Development Authority, helping to build a stronger, fairer New Jersey economy.